Hello out there. Hey, this is John Miner here reporting. Hope everybody's safe and staying at home. Well, anyways, I was going to bring this stuff in and do a lecture about it, but I'm doing it right here and I'm going to post it. So when I'm out hunting for vintage stuff, I get real excited when I find vintage and antique screen printed items. What I found here was probably a salesman sample pack from a sign company. These are all hand screen printed signs incorporating an underbase because this is black paper and a blend or in the old days we used to call it a split fountain. Now in the old days the inks were very very pigmented. They were very toxic too but it got the job done. Now some of these are so crude I'm sure they're paper stencils hence the bridge right there. These were all done with solvent based inks so they glued paper to a screen and made the image on the screen with paper. So let's run through these. All right, here's a good one for t for today's times. Ooh, cobalt blue. They can't even make that color anymore. And here's another one with a beautiful blend and they incorporate the underbase into the design because if you're going to print a color, might as well use it in the design. Here's the underbase being used in the design. So why bury it all? Use it. Here's a very old style one. Notice these fonts. That kind of dates it here. So I'm thinking these things are probably 1950s to 1960s. Simple but effective. Gets the job done just with a bright color and a black background. Here's another blend incorporating the underbase. Now here's a definite 60s one. Look at the groovy 60s font and the subject matter. Another simple but effective. Simple but effective incorporating the underbase. And here's a nice wordy one. All right, let's go on to the bigger ones. So these were all probably all stock products that a sign company made on their downtime. So I'm sure they did custom work, but they had these screens ready to go and they mass produced these things for bulk sale. So these, these would have might have been sold at a hardware store or a catalog order type thing. So this one has some artwork in involved in it. It's a little more tricky than the other ones. So yeah, definitely paper stencil involved there. There's the bridges. So in the old days, they did everything the crudest, simplest way because that's all they had. Even this one, look, the bridges, but this has some fancy fonts in it and some artwork to it. Here's something different, some automotive garage signs, and I'm sure, you know, they can make a thousand of these and sell them. And here's another one incorporating a lovely cobalt blue and fluorescent. You could read this from across the street. That's what we could do in screen printing. We make big, bold, bright statements with colors and thick ink deposits. In the old days, all the ink was thick. So here's, here's a blend going the different way. So anyways, I just wanted to say hi to you guys and show you, show you what I brought. Anyways, take care.